Greetings and welcome back everyone to Terraria Co-op with the Metasapia and myself and lots of bees. Yes, welcome to bees. Uh, I feel a little bit left out. Bees? Bees! Nice. Right. Okay, now in this episode, we are going to be continuing work on the greenhouse. But first, before that, I want to go and talk with the guide. Guide? I hear away. that I can use these bee waxes to make stuff. I can make a hornet staff, summon a minion, very weak knockback. Or I can have a bee headgear, increases minion damage by 4%, increases max number of minions by 4. Uh, sorry, increases max number of minions. And the bee breastplate also does exactly the same. Hmm. That sounds fancy. The legs only give 5% uh, minion damage. In total, then, it would give me an extra 13% minion damage, which is currently my set bonus for my Molten um, Greaves and all that is 17% extra melee damage. Oh, yeah. I don't want to lose that. It depends on what you want to go for. I mean, it's a quite a significant drop in protection as well. Yes, if Half you go for a lot of minions, I imagine they will help out a lot as well. Yeah. But... Okay. Well, I'm going to make myself a horn staff. What do I need to make that? Requires an anvil. Right. Do Oof. you have enough stuff for that? Yep. It's literally just beeswax for the horn staff. Yep. In fact, it's just beeswax for all of it, which I guess is something you only get from the um, the queen bee. I so, well, it looks like I'm going to lose four percent anyway. I might as well try making the whole set and see if it has any kind of funky set bonus. Must have some kind of set bonus anyway. So I'm hoping not all of them do. Um. Let's Set see. bonus increases minion damage by 10%. Oh, wow, okay. That sounds so, fancy. Yeah, that brings up the minion damage to 23% more than normal. Yeah. That's that's actually not too bad at that point. Then I do lose, lose you can a be a summoner defense. type of person. Yeah, I do lose an awful lot of defense, though. Yeah. I go from 28 all the way down to... Uh, let's see... 28 all the way down to 16. I lose 12 defense. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. I mean, the more minions I have, the get, I guess you will be more ready for enemies, but not so much for traps and such. Yeah. On the plus side, Flum! Nice. You, you can only to... have one of each type? Nope. No. Several. Aha. How many can you have? I can have three now. Very nice. You so that what? is going to be a pretty significant difference, I imagine. Yeah. I'm going to take these off for a second. There we go. Because it's going to be so much better to not have the hornets. Oh, wait. Actually, I guess having the hornets wouldn't be too bad. I mean, these do a lot more damage. A lot more damage. Mm. Um, How much? Hmm. Well, I mean, the Annoying Hornet does 8 summon damage. Very weak knockback. Uses 10 mana. Right. Summons the Hornet to fight for you. But, does the Hornet poison? If it does, then at that point it starts becoming worth having. That would be pretty awesome. I've also got 52 gold. My um, Yeah, I've got 54. I'm going to put that away. Yeah, we definitely need to put that away. I'm going to reforge this. De oh, I've gone wrong. Damn it. There we go. Reforge. Okay. I did not bring any materials this time, so I have to go back and get some materials for um, building. Okay. Let's see. I don't think we have too much glass left, so. But did we have. We have a little bit of sand. We'll see how long this lasts. Okay, I've got a, a better Hornet Staff. It does 12 summon damage now. That's not too bad. 
knocked out. So still less than the imp, but uh... yeah, the, the plus damage on them, and it gives it a little bit of extra knockback. I don't know. We'll we'll see. But we'll have to test it out. See how it works. I'll take two imps and a hornet. I think. Yep. There and I will make a glass. I've got a small army with me. Yes. Oh, fantastic. Welcome to the party. Indeed. I always tend to play minion masters as well when I play uh, MMOs. Always necromancers or something similar. Right. I'm going to go and drop off my gear. Right. I will be right. Oh, golden squirrel. Go catch it. Add more Indeed. gold to the gold. Come back here, golden squirrel. Aha. Now, I'm really hoping that this hornet does, in fact, poison things. I hope so, too. That would be pretty awesome. There we go. I didn't bring any bricks, so you have to bring all the bricks and such. Alright, then. I suppose I can. I brought glass. I'm also okay. stuck. You're also stuck. Somewhat. No. Not too nice badly. thing with this is I could just go ahead and... Oh, my hornet is engaging something. Right. Hope it's not a golden squirrel. <laughs> I don't think they attack those sorts of things. Uh, but I've just put my molten know. set up. Um, so guys, there was a golden squirrel off la uh, no, while we were off uh, camera. And Alex Imp killed it. I think it was trying to kill slimes though. Not the squirrel. Well, it killed the squirrel. Yeah, but it was more by accident than uh, shush you. That's still the point. No. It can kill the squirrel. I don't believe it. Now, uh. we've got one other thing as well that I'm pretty interested in checking out. We Which have is? got ourselves a witch doctor who I yes. think is over by Metasapia. Actually, you yes. wanted me to bring over bricks, didn't you? It's right Let me here. Grab those first. Uh, where would they build it? Building materials. Bricks. Well, I ruined the background ever so slightly, but we can always fix that. Why? Why would you do such a thing? Uh, you accident. Horrible person. There are no accidents. All right. So your imp killed the squirrel on purpose. It did. It wasn't me, though. It was still the imp. Okay. I can't be held accountable. Okay. Well, you can. I've... Shush. I will not be held accountable. Right, let me uh, come drop off these bricks for you. There you go. Thank you. And these ones, and those ones. Let's see. Now, need I to need to work with the grey brick balls. So many rabbits, my lord. What? Let's see. I gotta go and find some water. I should have gone the, in the other direction. I've literally. I'm going towards the desert to find. Aha! I found some water. Oh, okay. come on. I just stand here. Walls? So you're being very annoying at the moment. Why? What are the walls doing? They're not cooperating very well. Ah, uh, What to do about your walls? Go. Let's see. Wow, these things have got crazy range. They're attacking things well off the screen. Long before I can see them, they're engaging them. That's well, awesome. I guess I'll just have to build out the wall a bit more below. Is that? Well, I guess it looks fairly okay at the moment, but it doesn't look good. Hmm. But we just need to finish the wall below and then we can fix it up. Okay. Because at the moment, it's not working out. <laughs> Hello, Witch Doctor. The heart of magic is nature. The nature of heart is magic. <laughs> no. Alec is not amused. No. We've got water fountains. Corrupt water fountain. Yep. Oh, That seems like it deserves a place in our evil garden. Stealing my one. ideas. Imbuing station, used to craft weapon imbuement flasks. I will also buy this. I still have no idea what it does, do we? Can I, can I turn it on? Yes! Oh, look at that. Nice. That's fantastic. We should buy a couple of those. Yeah. Oh, my lord. We're going to have, have fancy fountains everywhere. Wouldn't it be nice to have one on the other side as well? 
Well, I, I wasn't really putting it there for it to stay there. I was kind of imagining it would go elsewhere. Yeah, but we can have them on each side or something. Oh my lord, these imbuing stations are huge. We can do whatever we want. That is true. Almost, at least. Let's see. For the time being, I'm going to put the imbuing station in my... Oh, actually I'm not, because I put stairs there. I don't okay. want too much grey brick here. There we are. The imbuing station is in the main house. I somehow sneak this in there. Oh, let me sneak it in. No, not gonna let me sneak it in. Ah, oh, damn it. What are you whispering to yourself? I was saying that I wanted to sneak the fire in under a shelf, but I cannot. It is most ungood, I tell you. Most ungood. Uh, I'd imagine so. Now. The reason why I collected bottles of water and the stingers is because with the imbuing station we can make flasks of poison. Melee attacks poison enemies for 20 minutes. Nice. So I'm going to make 22 of these. That will be very good for bosses, I guess. Other enemies, not so much. Well, considering yo-yos are considered melee attacks, so are boomerangs. But 20 minutes, I mean. Oh yeah. There you go. I just gave you 11 of these flasks. Nice. Um, you drink it in order to apply it. That's. Yep. A bit it says off. it's consumable. Yep. 20 okay. minutes. Funk. Okay, right, 20 okay. minutes duration. I thought you meant it poisons the enemies for 20 minutes. No, no, no. Which no, no. did duration not make much sense minutes. in my mind. Because did you why? have. Oh, go ahead. Why would you need to poison a smaller enemy for 20 minutes? Yes. I can see why you said uh, wouldn't be as useful for regular bosses now. Uh, regular minions. Do yeah. you have the other evil lantern? The demon lantern? Um, so I think you picked those up. I believe I picked it up and put it back at the house. Okay. I, I'll go and have a look. Unless we already put it here. Didn't we just have three and then we put up another no, one? No, I had a third one before. Okay. City and Lantern, here we are. Fantastic. Could really go for just now putting up red bricks all over and then having some windows in here. But okay. I don't think we have enough red bricks. Oh yeah, the uh, the Hornet does indeed poison things naturally. That is good. Right now, I'm poison th mean things with my fire sword as well as catching them on fire. Very nice. Yeah, I'm actually really liking that. Though perhaps if I've got a hornet that can poison things, what I should do instead is get a more... Uh, a different type of effect. Hello, zombie down Is there any clay around here? I am not sure, I'm afraid. Okay. Also, I'm realizing the folly in giving you all of the bricks. Yeah, you can have them back now. I'll go get a chest so that we don't have to keep dropping things to swap uh, inventory. Sure. And see. once you've done Better. that, I imagine I could go for some more clay. Because okay. I, have have, I have a plan. Right. Plan is currently impossible to do because I have very few red bricks. Very well. Do we no, have any... not very well. Oh. Very unwell. Okay. I apologize. Yes, Don't should. we have a living wood wand? Or like a leaf wand or something? I like believe here? we do. You picked it up before. I don't know where yeah. it is. Yes, I can. Okay. Right, well, I've got the living wood wands. Someone in the comments suggested that using the living wood wand, we could make those kinds of trees. Yep. I actually quite like that idea. Um... And we have the leaf wand as well, less for making the yeah. leaves on top of it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, indeed. Ah, uh, did I bring it? Oh, no, I we stacked the chest. Aww. I'm such a derp. Why did you right do there. such a thing? Because I'm Rabbit? dumb, basically. Why did you come down here? Now you're going to get eaten by the zombie plants soon. I can't wait until we've got some zombie plants of our very own. <laughs> yeah. 
That will be the day I am happy. Yeah. We've got loads of different grasses as well. So we, we should be able to build a couple of areas. Um, one of the things that we're going to want is a place where we can grow uh, blue mushrooms and regular mushrooms. Yep. That should be nice underground. Yeah. Right. There we go. The stone blocks. I need stone bricks. There you go. Great now, the thing with this... Oh, well done on getting all of the glass set up properly, by the way. Now, the thing with this area is how are we going... I, I don't know if we really want that platform. I'm not sure, though. Maybe we do. Uh, I don't know. It's temporary for now. We don't need to keep it. Yeah. We can change up everything as we go along. That's a good um, point, yeah. How do you like this pattern down here? And just the grey just for a little bit of contrast and then to have some windows over here. Yeah, I like that idea. Maybe some really, some really tall windows. Tall windows with a slight dome if it looks okay with the glass up here. Yeah. I'm not sure yet, but we'll have to try. Or you could do it the other way, and instead of having a dome at the top, you could have a curve at the bottom. That could using, work. Using, like, bricks, because then it wouldn't, con it wouldn't like, compete against the dome at the top. That could work. And uh, there we go. Basement is for the time being complete. I haven't done anything with the lower level. Um, in case we want to keep the ground uh, for something. I'm not okay. sure what we want to do about it yet. Do you happen to have any regular rope? Um, yes. Awesome. Let's see. There we go. Perfect. Fantastic. No, there's a block left. Oh, dope. Damn it. There we go. There we are. Very nice. Okay, okay, you should be able to uh, uh, run that all the way down now. Nice. If we have this uh, platform one lower than it currently is, then it might obscure the transition. Mm. Like so. See how it's obscuring the transition between glass yep. and brick? That could work. Where's my regular rope? Ah. Don't fall to your doom. I will endeavor not to. Oh, I really, really want more clay. I'm going to go off. Okay. And find some clay because we do need it a lot. Is there any clay down here, perhaps? And while I'm here, maybe I'll find some hearts or something. Yeah, indeed. There we go. We always do with more hearts. Uh, they're not. Okay, I have clay. Okay. Let's see if this is enough clay. I don't know. Hello, house and goldfish. Okay, there we go. We're what going I just to make did there. A huge amount of red bricks. Okay. I just used those points there so I could measure how long I'd made this. Uh, platform area? Yep. That should be fine. Um, Did you want some bricks or... Um, uh, yeah, if you could uh, just I'll drop just those drop off. Just them off. Okay, um, back to work. Yes, there we go. So I've made a little bit of... a little bit of finery up oh there. Oh no! I ruined everything. Why would you do such a thing? I don't know. I was compelled. Okay, annoyingly, I wonder if the living loom would allow us to make certain special types of blocks. Go ask it. I am going to go and check that, yeah. Like the uh, special types of blocks out of the wood, like, because I would really like a uh, background wooden texture. Right. Also, possibly background leaves, because currently leaves are a foreground object, and that just isn't going to work for us. No. Can't have foreground leaves. We're not that kind of people. Apparently. 
walls. Also, living wood platforms. Oh, they're so much better than the ones we've currently got. Okay. That sounds awesome. Because they're all covered in greenery. That is going to look so much more fitting. Also, loads of leaves we want. And... Yeah, actually, uh, I think that's good enough. I'm just going to... Hmm. Hmm. They don't look good when I alternate them. Perhaps a different colour of wood would have looked alright, but... I didn't want it to go up there. And why did you throw it there? I didn't. I tried to throw it on the platform, but apparently that does not work. Okay. Plan there B. Go. What are you trying these, to do? These are just temporary for building. I need stuff to hang off so I don't have to jump all the time. Now that's going to be a problem. What? The way the leaves interact with the grass. Uh, glass, sorry. Grass, grass, how, same thing. And this is how they, they're very specific. They've got a very hard edge. Yeah. Um. That is a shame. How about we... Yeah, that doesn't look good in the slightest. No, it really doesn't. Uh, we could run some sort of tree up the middle of the greenhouse and then have some leaves up top above the roof. We could do. Alternatively, I mean, as this is a greenhouse, there's actually no specific reason why we need to completely have sealed in windows. No. Also, that would avoid it ever being used as a residence. That is true. So we could have some leaves kind of growing in a decorative way in just the large kind of dome areas you're creating there. That could work. It would also cut down a lot on the work that you'd have to go through in order to set all that up. Yeah. Okay. That you sold on the idea? There you go. What did you just give me? The red brick. Oh, thank you. Well, what I'm going to do is... Hold still. I'm going to... <laughs> you scallywag there. <laughs> take that. Also take these. Um, okay. Also these. And most of my wood. Since you use wood to place the leaves. And use the living wood wand as well. And here I was thinking that you would take the task of doing what you were imagining. <laughs> no. No, no, no. You can never far do what too you much imagine. Work. Far, far too much work. Okay. I'm going to go down to the bottom and I'm going to start work on the basement. Instead. Then I can get the red bricks back. Apparently not. Do you need the red bricks? Uh, to complete these general areas, I think. I... Yeah, sure. I gave them to you be because I, the I thought blocks? I thought you were going to work on that with leaves and stuff, but if you're not, then I will work on it. Uh, that's why I gave you the leaf wand. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Get some light down here just so I can see what I'm doing. Nah. Who needs vision? <laughs> Fair enough. Now, I set up the table and chair and the couch at the top. Oh no, sorry goldfish! With the idea of using that as a sort of, like, sitting area. Right. But initially my plan was to have leaves around them, but that's no longer a possibility. So, not sure how best to, to react with that how we could change that up. No. Uh, it doesn't quite look that no. compelling the way it's set up right now. Let's see. Maybe the whole idea of the leaves thing is not going to necessarily work because this is an enclosed area. Those are foreground leaves. Uh, That's why you couldn't move through them. <laughs> I didn't try to move through them. All oh, right. It looked like you were just banging your head against them. But uh, I gave them. you a lot of background leaves. 
Okay. Let's see. There we go. Oh, this magma pickaxe is so good. Uh, sorry, yeah, ham axe. I'm just stripping away the background so quickly. Hmm. Let's see. Uh... That's actually not bad. Whoops. That is. Well, uh, I guess it can be a bit irregular. Yeah, I was going to say... It looks natural. The little bit right at the top looks a little bit weird. But the rest of it looks lovely. I'm actually really How's liking that? what you've got going there, yeah. I do still feel that the part in the very top left is not quite right. You mean the part that's actually on the wall? Yeah. How about if I remove it because I didn't actually intend it to be there? All like sorts of parts of this wall at the moment. Looks good though. Now to make the same thing on the other side. I'm noticing all of these gaps in the walls. I'll just uh, go along and fix those. In yeah, there. but it's not important while you're doing that thing. We just need it to work eventually. Indeed. There we go. I think that does it. I figured it might be nice to have the uh, living wood kind of reaching up in the middle. Mm. Not sure about those corner parts though. It might be a bit too wide with those. Okay, I mean, but uh, the general idea is pretty good. Like that then? Yeah, that could work. We'll have to decide on that. What I was hoping is to get a kind of like a, a tree effect in the background, as if the leaves are growing off that, but I don't think we've achieved that. Mm. No. So instead, probably what we'd want to do then is using the clay bricks, bring that in, make that, basically cut that window in half so that we've got two half windows, yeah. taller, narrower. Oh, no. But yeah, I think that could definitely work. Oh, damn it. Run out of bricks. But I figured it might be nice. Since that's going to be a basement, I doubt it's going to have any windows. So we can just more or less fill that in with brick. But I thought it would be better to have the brick a little bit less regular. So different types of brick. Maybe more background um, clay bricks. Things like that. Yeah. But... On that note, I think it's about wrapping up time for this episode. Yeah, sounds good. We've done a little bit of progress. We're still working on the general outline for our demonic garden. I think we need more demonic fires myself. More, more demonic fires. Maybe some demonic candles and, and candelabras and all of that kind of goodness. I never but... opposed to more demon stuff. What was that, sorry? I'm never opposed to more demon stuff. How about this? Actually, looks kind of nice at the top now. <laughs> Though I could get away with just a, a demon candle too on cozy. the demon table. It is a little bit too cozy, yes. Let's uh, try and get rid of some of these lamps. No, a demon candle right. there. You know, in case in case the vampires want to go for a romantic candlelit dinner for two. Though it you would never, never really be those two. Vampires. It'd probably be with three, but one of them would be the dinner. <laughs> realistically speaking yes but on that note we are going to wrap this episode up there so thank you very much for joining us we hope you enjoyed and will be joining us for the next but until then and as always do take care goodbye <laughs>